Hello students, oh please come in. Hello, hi. So today we will have a different class. We have a few people here who wants to talk to you about gender inequality. And since I suppose that many of you don't know so much about this topic, let me introduce you a little bit. Gender inequality is an old problem, but a current one. Since the old days, the majority of population has moved forward to the development of patriarchal societies, in which man has the power of command and decision over the family. This model was transposed from the private to the public sphere, causing political systems to be developed by the male command. But, what exactly is gender inequality? Well, if you search on a dictionary or on the internet, you will see the following explanation. Gender inequality is a social process by which men and women are not treated as equal. In other words, gender inequality is the inequality of power between men and women. As a result, women ended up being the most affected in this story because for a long time, work outside the home and the possibility of scientific and intellectual development through formal education, in addition to being subject to the power of men in their family, in general their parents and husbands. Not everyone experiences inequality the same way. The situation is worse and often different for people who face more than one type of discrimination. In current rate of chance, it will take over 200 years to achieve gender equality. At very young age, we have already started to deal with the expectations that society places on each one. As early as childhood, we will be in contact with a list of predilections, chores and specific tasks socially constructed as a boy stinks or a girl stinks. They like blue, football and don't cry. They like pink, dolls and are well behaved. These differentiations, however, are not natural, but socially and historically constructed, based on normative standards of what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. But this situation hasn't changed nowadays. You are right, we can see that over the years, the role defined by society on what a boy or girl should look like is being dismidified and also the role of women in the job market has become much more significant. Nowadays, more and more women occupy a prominent place in society, even having a historical past that makes their journey difficult. But even today, in the 21st century, women are often treated unevenly at work, often through sexual harassment or wage discrimination. To progress in the workplace, you need to be seen. For women, however, the importance of visibility creates a conundrum. On the one hand, women's contributions are systematically neglected at work. However, when women try to become more visible, they may face a negative reaction for violating expectations about how women should behave and risk losing their hard-won career gains. Despite the enormous progress that women around the world have made in seeking careers, going to the streets to protest and claim their rights, there are still significant obstacles that women face in the workplace. The glass ceiling and occupational sexism reflect the restrictions imposed on women when they try to enter and move up the career ladder, having to face barriers to equal participation in the workforce, not to mention that this whole situation only increases cases of femicide and violence against women. And what we can do to change this situation? That's a great question. Gender inequality is certainly a problem present worldwide, but there are actions that still can be taken to change the situation and make a better world for the future generations without prejudice and injustice for both genders, such as reduce socialization by parents and other adults of girls and boys into traditional gender roles, confront gender stereotyping by the popular news media, increase enforcement of existing laws against gender-based employment discrimination and against sexual harassment, increase mentorship and other efforts to boost the number of women in traditionally male occupations in the positions of political leadership. Oh, I think this is the signal to end the class, guys. Thank students for participating and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Until next class.